Artificial Intelligence and Philosophy Could an artificial intelligence produce good philosophy? We've asked our viewers what topics they are interested in and one of them wrote to us, well, what about philosophy? Could AI produce philosophy? Well, artificial intelligence can drive cars. Artificial intelligence can produce art. So why couldn't AI also produce good philosophy? He especially asked for the topic of philosophy of daily life. So philosophy you can apply in your daily life. So the idea was now to especially ask an AI. We asked an artificial intelligence if it could produce philosophy itself. That's what we did. But before we get into the video, please do us a favor and smash that like button down there. It would give us a really big favor and it would show the algorithm that this video is important to you. So please smash the like button right now. Have you done it? Right, let's go into it. So the AI we ask with the philosophical approach is the AI hyperride.ai. It's an AI we can really recommend and it's really powerful already. So we ask the question to the AI, what is actually philosophy of everyday life? Let's get into it. So dear hyperride AI, what is philosophy of everyday life? The philosophical approach to everyday life is one of the oldest. Mm -hmm. Philosophy doesn't only consist of what you study in your philosophy course. Nice. Philosophy is the study of general human affairs. The goal of philosophy is to look into important problems, challenges that people face. Philosophy is far reaching in scope. It studies topics from the human experience. Philosophy is not limited to 120,000 revolutions. So that's actually quite interesting what the AI is saying here. So the goal is to look into important problems. I would say philosophy, that's something we do with philosophy anyway. I mean, it started with practical problem problems. But the thing is, I don't really get what it is saying here with uh, it's not limited to 120,000 revolutions. I'm not quite sure what the AI means with this, but let's go on. Philosophy of everyday life is a branch of philosophy that is concerned with the craft of living. It studies the practical and the common issues that have to deal with everyday life. If there is something people need to think about, it is probably being studied in philosophy. That's right. Philosophy of everyday life is also known as practical philosophy, existentialism or pragmatism. Interesting. Philosophy of everyday life is a philosophy that deals less with the abstract and the realm of the sciences. Uh -huh. The aim of philosophy of everyday life is to study the existence we live and the problems we face. Philosophy of everyday life examines our life, our history, our values, our beliefs, our ethics, our goals, our hopes, etc. Philosophy of everyday life seeks to understand the proper ways to live, what is good or bad, what is wrong or right, okay. what to do and what not to do, and many more. Philosophy of everyday life does not deal with the abstract, theoretical, and the realm of the sciences. Philosophy of everyday life is concerned with practical, common, and simple problems. So I would say this is already a good definition and I've tried, I've let this text run through some plagiarism websites and it said that it is for sure not written from Wikipedia or not taken from Wikipedia or, or other sites. So this is really a good genuine answer of what is actually philosophy of everyday life. So the next question is, dear AI, how do you apply philosophy of everyday life? Philosophy of everyday life questions are so broad and they span mm -hmm. across so many topics. It can be used in so many different fields. For example, if you want to get to know more about yourself, you could try some philosophy of everyday life. From your personal values, goals, goals, fears, etc. You could try to see what is it that motivates you to work hard, to follow your goals? What do you strive for? What are you afraid of? You could also try to get to know your opportunities and your constraints. All right. How do these influence what you want to do? You could also try to understand the people around you. What values do they hold and how do they influence what you do? That's very interesting because the AI takes a really old principle from philosophy, which the old Greeks called which, which says actually 
know thyself. You know, it was written above the oracle in Old Greece, the oracle from Old Delphi in Old Greece. It said, Knotis auton, know thyself. So this is, I would say, one practical application of philosophy of everyday life is get to know yourself better. What are your values? What are your goals? Very interesting that this is the first step for the AI. The second step is know other people better. So start with yourself and from this you can also try to learn how other people are working. Very interesting approach from the AI here I would say. Next question would be Dear AI, how is philosophy of everyday life represented? Do you have maybe a picture that we can understand this concept maybe even better? A lot of people who have studied philosophy of everyday life say that the philosophy of everyday life is best represented by a car. Uh -huh. This is okay. because a car is a living example of how life works. Interesting. It is a constant in motion. Nothing stays still for long. Right. A car is a framework. It has connections to the physical environment. It is constantly moving. It has a certain amount of power. This is the framework through which the people and the situations can be studied. This is the mm -hmm. framework that helps us understand our world. Interesting. The philosophy of everyday life, when applied to the car, is the way to conceptualize life in general. We could compare the car with our lives. We could talk about the problems we come across, the challenges we have in life, the conflicts we face, the goals we strive for. So this is also very interesting. So the AI takes on a metaphor, the metaphor of the car. I'm not quite sure why the AI talks about the car, but it's a really interesting approach because it says the car is constantly moving. So everything is in change. This could be compared to the old philosophical principle of Panta Rei. So everything flows. So everything is in a constant flow. Heraclit also said you cannot step into the same river again because the river has changed and you have changed. And it's interesting that the AI takes the car because the car is actually quite mechanic so it's a mechanical machine so maybe because the AI and the car are more similar that's why but I'm not sure about this. Interesting enough is that the AI can actually speak in metaphors and tries to conceptualize philosophy through this way. It's actually quite sophisticated I would say. So the next step is going to be that I've asked the AI how could we actually use AI itself? Could AI itself be used for philosophy? The AI's answer to this question is as follows. Dear AI, how could AI help us with the topic of philosophy of everyday life? Artificial intelligence can help us with philosophy of everyday life in two different ways. Oh, two ways. First, we could use AI to First. help us conceptualize the world. Mm -hmm. We could use AI to help us understand how we are living, what we are doing, and what we are facing in our lives, etc. AI could help us with philosophy of everyday life by analyzing human behavior. Interesting. It is not just a matter of knowing what we are. AI can teach us how to go about a problem. Mm -hmm. AI can teach us to deal with problems efficiently. We could also use AI to help us solve everyday problems. We could use AI to help us figure out which is the best way to solve a complicated problem. For example, if you have the choice to buy a new car or an old car, which one would you choose? If you have to pay for your new car with the help of your credit card, which would you opt for? Would you pay a lot of interest? Would you have to pay for it? AI could help us decide which is the best option to choose. AI could help us figure out the best way to pay for our new car. So there is this car metaphor again. I don't know why this AI likes cars so much. Maybe because uh, it's something that everybody knows from his everyday life. That could also be. But it's very interesting that AI says, okay, one thing how AI could help us with philosophy is actually in conceptualizing the world. Well, I think this is in this approach very true because the machines we are using, the instruments we are using, always have a feedback loop and help us reflect on ourselves. So for example, using the telescope, seeing the planets has changed really a lot on how we see ourselves in this universe. Before we thought, well, the human being and the earth is the center of the universe. Then we took a telescope, we watched the stars, we watched the planets and then we saw, well, maybe 
the Sun is in the center of the solar system. So this really changed our worldview, this changed our view on ourselves, and this is how machines can change actually our view of the world. So probably AI with its new abilities is also going to change on how we are going to see ourselves. Very interesting here. Furthermore, AI systems could help us in making decisions. We could use AI to help us understand our options. Uh -huh. We could use AI to help us choose what option to go with. AI could also help us to reach our goals faster. Yeah. An AI system could help us achieve our goals. It could help us become more efficient in our everyday life. This would help us to have more time. More time means more freedom. More freedom means more time. Interesting. So what the AI is saying here is more time means more freedom. More freedom means more time. So this is also an interesting approach that people said, yeah, philosophy could only emerge when our standards were met, when we had some free time. I mean, there is, it's no coincidence that the early philosophy, the early Greeks, were actually people that were freed from their daily labor. Because they had slaves, they had some time to produce this good philosophy that the old Greeks produced. So AI says of itself, it can produce more, it can make us more productive, it can free us from our daily labor. So that's why we are free afterwards to make more philosophy. So that's a really interesting approach how AI sees itself in here and how it can really free us and help us this way to produce better philosophy for everyday life. Interesting approach here I would say. The other way that AI could help us with the topic of philosophy of everyday life is that AI can help us with our questions. AI can help us figure hmm. out which questions are worth thinking about. For example, if there is a car accident, which questions would you want to ask? Why? How this affects your life? AI okay. can help us with our questions. It can help us figure out which are the most important questions. It can point us to the right questions. It can help us have a discussion about the world. How would AI do this? It could make the argument for the answers. Okay. It could challenge the answers. It could compare the answers. It can make us think. It can make us question our beliefs. It can help us to understand our worldview. Is this already possible today? Is it? The answer is yes. AI systems can already make arguments. AI systems can already make comparisons. They can already make arguments about our beliefs. So big words spoken here by the AI. It says that it can already help us with our arguments. It can already challenge our beliefs. I'm not so sure about that. But this would be actually an interesting application for artificial intelligence because when humans argue, they're always going in this direction of using false arguments, of using straw man arguments, of not quite using logical arguments. And I think an AI that would understand and would track the logic of the argument and would like say, hey, this is not logical what you're talking about. This could be an interesting approach for using artificial intelligence and I see how this could help actually us in questioning our beliefs, in finding better arguments, in finding better discussions, in discussing in a better way. So interesting approach but I'm not sure if this is already possible. So let's let the AI summarize what it has said today to us. To summarize. We could use AI to understand the world. We could use AI to understand hmm. our lives. AI can help us conceptualize the world. It can help us conceptualize life. Uh -huh. AI can help us solve everyday problems. It can help us reach our goals faster. It can help us with our questions. It will take some time for AI to help us with philosophy of everyday life. It will take some time for us to fully understand AI and for us to fully understand how AI can help us with the topic of philosophy of everyday uh -huh. life. I hope this has been a good introduction to the topic of philosophy of everyday life. It has. I hope it has helped you to understand better the topic. I hope that you have enjoyed this introduction to the topic. I have. I hope you have learned something. I did. I hope to see you again. See you next time. 
Yeah, thank you Hyperite.ai for this introduction into philosophy of everyday life. This was philosophy and I'm really impressed how this actually quite simple AI from Hyperite.ai can already be used to improve our sense of philosophy. I hope you enjoyed this interview with the AI. If you wanna have more topics, if you have more interest in this topic, please let us know in the comments below. If you wanna have other uh, topics on this channel, let us also know in the comments below. As usual, give it a like, as usual, comment below, as usual, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.